Hi, I'm Mike from Simcoe Gray County, Clearview Township, and I'm going to do some exposing of the corruption in Canada today again, because there's so much of it. And now, I know I promised you birth rate, and I do a, a rant on birth rate, and I'm going to get to it, I promise. But th again, i got to lead up to it. There's just so much going on, corruption-wise, in Canada, and why Maxim Bernier is the choice, okay? Because he's going to at least let us talk about these problems in Canada when... We can't with any other parties. So, today, leading up to my birth rate increase in Canada without the need for mass immigration, I'm going to talk about why, and I'm going to share with numbers, why the way we go about immigration doesn't work, okay? It doesn't help, it doesn't help the cause, it doesn't help repopulate the young generations so we can help out our elderly Canadians right now who, you know, they're... We don't know if the Canadian pension plan is going to keep working the way it is. So that's why we need to population replace. But I'm going to explain, sorry, not population replace, population replenish. But what's happening is replacement, okay? Let's be honest. That's what's happening. Anyways, we're going to talk about how immigration just does not work the way it is. And this is how. I'm going to put some numbers on the screen right here, okay? We're going to take a look. How many immigrants came to Canada last year? In 2016, 272,666 people immigrated to Canada. So right here, I'm going to show how many immigrants have been coming to Canada since 2003. It's actually from 2000, but it averages 250,000 a year approximately. Have been coming on average since 2003. Now, on this side here, I'm going to show the average age of immigrants that are coming here. This is just the, from 2017. Right there is from 2017. Shows the numbers. Only 51,818 of them were under the age of 20. Well, what does that mean? That means that 68% of them were adults already. So how does that work for Canada? How, how does this solve the problem? They're not even bringing enough kids here to... To support themselves when they retire, let alone the elderly people we have in Canada right now. The reason we have immigration, because apparently there's no other systems that work in Canada. But as you can see with this here, these numbers don't work. If we're going to do immigration, the families that have to come here, for it to work, so we can double our population and, and increase the with the false economy that we have going here... We, these immigrants have to come with four kids, okay? Not 1.5. That's what we do here in Canada already, 1.6. So that's not working. All we're doing is we're stuffing Canada with more people and inflating prices and home prices and, and giving money to projects that aren't working again. We have problems with giving money to things that just don't make sense. When numbers don't line up like this, numbers don't lie. When they don't line up like this, we shouldn't be doing it, okay? Here's another number I'm going to show right now. I'm just thinking about it. I'm going to put this on the screen right now. And what this is showing is in 2011, the Fraser Institute estimated that immigration cost Canada $23 billion. $23 billion, that's in 2011. In 2018, it's estimated to be $35 billion. So let's go with those numbers here. 23 billion in 2011, 23, uh, 35 billion in 2018. Since 2000, let's say we've averaged approximately 25 billion dollars a year since 2000 going into this. So let's do some more numbers now. 25 billion annually since the year 2000. We've donated for immigration or we spent on immigration. 25 billion annually for 18 years equals 450 billion dollars. That's how much we've spent on immigration, all right? That's just in the last 18 years. Now, are we any farther ahead? You know, what has happened? Inflation has happened. It's things skyrocketing. It's, be it's because of a false economy that we live in. Anyways, one more number I'm gonna put on the screen for you guys. It's gonna bother you even more. Our national debt. And I'm going to compare it to what we've spent on immigration. And let's get a percentage out of it, okay? So here it is right here. 
1.4 trillion in 2017 our national debt was. They say this year, 2018, it's going to be 1.8 trillion, okay? Now, let's divide some numbers here. 1.8 trillion divided by 450 billion equals a perfect four. What, what is that? That's 25% of our debt has been spent on an immigration system that isn't working. And that's only in the last 18 years, not since we started this, this weird idea that this system works. What kind of leaders do we have in Canada? Canada needs Canadians to run Canada. They need people that are working for Canada. People like Mr. Bernier. People that, that understand what's going on here and, and can put numbers together. Because I don't know what's going on with the UN, but their numbers, I don't know what school they went to because... Their numbers are really poor. Their efforts are not for European countries, okay? It's not for us. Mr. Bernie has a different idea for this. He's going to question immigration and, and what we should really do. Maybe he'll even revamp the system to something like I'm sharing here. And tomorrow, actually, I said tomorrow earlier, and it's not going to be tomorrow. I got a busy week. I got my kids for the weekend. I'm not going to get my next rant down till next week sometime probably monday or tuesday hopefully we'll see i like doing this i like to share because people seem to like the truth okay i'm a i'm a canadian you know i'm born raised in canada i'm bred european background christianity i grew up with you know went to catholic school all the way up to grade nine decided to go to a public school i have nothing against any religions i just want what's best for canada my name is Mike. I live in Simcoe Gray County, Clearview Township. Max and Bernier is the choice for Canadians. He's, he's going to discuss problems like this. He's going to ask the people what they want. Maybe revamp the system. Because my, my talk next week on birth rate, it's going to be something else. The possibilities, they're there. Are we going to do something about it? I don't know. But I'd like to see more Canadian children being born in Canada, okay? Without the need to waste our money on the immigration. Because these numbers aren't lying, people. I'll talk to you guys soon. Subscribe and share, okay? Let's get this out there. Max and Bernie for PM. Talk to you soon.